Hi everyone, you're with Sonia from Angel Light Healing. Thank you for joining me live today. I am going to give you a general angel card reading. So if you are after your own personal reading, get in contact with me at angellighthealing at outlook.com. So it's L-Y-T-E for light. Um, if you are after um, an intuitive healing, just send me an email as well. So I've intuitively shuffled the cards. Today I'm using the Magical Messages from the Fairies, the Archangel Oracle Cards, and the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins. Okay, so this is a general reading. I'm not focusing on any particular area, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. All right, let's get started. First card, Flower Power. Spend time with flowers and flower essences to increase your personal healing power. Okay, so for some of you, they're asking you to spend more time outdoors in nature, immersing yourself in nature, especially around flowers. So every flower has its own healing energy, um, just like crystals have their own um, healing energy and um, different healing meanings. So yeah, um, get outside, enjoy the beautiful um, sunshine and ground yourself. Perhaps you've been too much in your head and you need to connect back um, to nature. So yep, spend some time around flowers. There is um, some flower therapy books that you can find at the library if you want to um, learn more about the healing energies of flowers. Okay, next card is let go. As you surrender the need to control, your relaxed energy rapidly attracts your desires. Okay, so for some of you also, this is about you know, letting go of control issues, whether this applies to a relationship, whether this applies in your work, your field, um, your children, your home, uh, yeah, your partner. So they're asking you to let go because you're holding on to too much and this can be the cause of your blockage. So it's time to release the old and welcome the new energy to come into your life. Again, this is um, about you spending time out in nature grounding yourself, healing yourself. The color green represents Archangel Raphael, who is the Archangel of Healing. So this is about you letting go in order to heal, heal the blockages, heal the negativity perhaps that you've absorbed and really letting go. Okay. Next card is practice, practice, practice. With daily practice, you can polish your skills and talents and increase your confidence. Okay, so is there something that you've been perhaps putting on hold that you've been wanting to explore further? Um, some sort of dream or goal that you have been wanting to start but you haven't been able to do? They're asking you to, now's the time, to put, um, you know, to put that into practice. And they're saying that with practice, you will... Um, you will grow and you will prosper. So this can also represent you practicing affirmations. This is about, you know, practicing letting go perhaps and being outside and, um, yeah, really connecting with Mother Nature here. Um, with practice, you know, things um, grow and they prosper. So this is about you putting something into practice perhaps. So you know, changing your thought settings and making them more positive rather than focusing on the negative or focusing on the lack of um, and focusing on, you know, things that you may not have but focusing on you already having them. So this is, um, you know, and this does take time and take practice and especially with positive affirmations if you're not yet uh, used to, you know, used to doing these. All right, so there's that one there. The next card from the Archangel. Oracle cards is victory. Archangel Sandalfin. Okay, your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. Okay, that's beautiful. So whatever it is you've been asking for, it will come about. Just have, ho uh, have hope and have faith in the process. Don't try to control it, which is why um, I guess initially we got that let go card. Let go of the control issues. Let go of the outcome. Um in order to manifest your dreams and desires, but they're saying, yes, this is a really positive card. Whatever it is that you um, have been wanting, um, you will be victorious. So this is really positive and really, really, um, yeah, it's just amazing. And it's confirmation for you that what you've been thinking about will come about. All right. 
Next card from the Mermaids and Dolphins. Music for manifesting. To manifest rapidly, think of your desire while you chant, hum, sing, or play music. Music's really um, a beautiful, beautiful uh, modality to incorporate into your daily life. Music is so healing, it's soothing. Um, music can also take you away from your worries and cares. When you sing and when you chant, um, you're not really thinking about uh, other things that, you know, are perhaps are weighing you down. So when you sing or when you put music on, think about, you know, what it is that you want to manifest for yourself. The victory is coming. So this is beautiful. Music is so healing. The next card is stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. Okay, so again, with those affirmations, keep them going. If that's something that you, you know, you want to maintain a positive outlook, they're saying here is to stay optimistic. Don't give up. Don't give up before the miracle occurs. Look at this. I feel that this card is related to relationships because I'll bring it up close. You have a mermaid there and there's a man in the background. So this could be... Um, definitely in regards to a relationship. This is about you wanting the happily ever after. You know, you've got the castle on the hill. So everything, you're seeing things from a distance at the moment. And that's perhaps why you are not seeing things up close because they haven't happened, um, you know, as quickly as you wanted them to. All right. So you've been struggling with this. There's a lot of water around here. So there's a lot of emotions around this. Okay. But they're saying, just don't give up. Just keep going. You're strong. Keep going, keep maintaining your focus on your goals, desires, and your dreams. Okay, and stay optimistic. And the last card, make a wish. This is a magical moment. Make a wish and enjoy its manifestation. Okay, so yeah, I feel like this is again relating to your affirmations as well. So what is it that you want? What is your goal? What are your desires? What are your dreams? Um, get out in nature, get some clarity, get clear. Um, perhaps again, you've been too much in your head. You've been, you know, um, focusing way too much on controlling a situation, which is why they're asking you again to let it go. Um, but there is victory here. So there is success with your goals and your desires. Um, but they're asking you to, yeah, spend time out in nature, make a wish, stay optimistic about your, your dreams and desires and, um, yeah, and don't give up, just keep going. And um, yeah, keep those affirmations going and keep practicing them. Okay, practice, practice, practice. Because it will become second nature for you. And playing music, is, again, is so healing. It's grounding for you as well as spending time out in nature. Um, get your creative side flowing. So whether that is writing, um, you know, you can even write yourself a song or, you know, write your... Um, partner a song, dedicate something to them, um, or you could even just write letters in order to let go, you know, to release the past, let go of the old hurt in order to welcome the new, to welcome the victorious um, and the new that's coming into your life. Well, I thank you so much for tuning in today to your general reading. I hope you resonate with some or all of the messages that have come through. Again, if you're after your own personal reading, get in contact with me at Angel Light Healing, L-Y-T-E, at Outlook.com. It's $35 for an email reading um, as well as a Skype reading. If you are after some healing, I can do this um, within my own home or from a distance as well. So yeah, get in contact with me. But I wish you all a, an amazing Monday and many angel blessings to you all. Thank you. Bye.